Hello. Now today uh, I am going to discuss uh, about the chapter algebraic expression. In this chapter, obviously this word algebraic is taken from the word algebra. Algebra. And what is the algebra? So I can say that the algebra is the branch or the part of the mathematics. For like you know, arithmetic, you know, geometry, the same way, algebra. So here, how we have got this algebra word? That is also the question. So I am talking about the very famous. Uh, Muslim uh, mathematician as well as the astronomer in 9th century in 9th century and his name was Muhammad Ibn Musa Al-Khwarizmi Khwarizmi Muhammad Ibn Musa Al-Khwarizmi and this mathematician in that moment he has written the very famous book and that book name is Kitab Al Jabr Al Jabr and you know in this Al Jabr when you use A here and combine together that is what Algebra and from there we have got this word now the question is why the algebra, why, what is the use of it? So, what he has done, like suppose I am asking a very simple question to you that 3 plus, and that is equal to here, suppose 7, and the question mark is here, and uh, there is a question, what will be here? So, 3 plus what will be 7? So, you say like uh, 4, correct? Now, what he used. Uh, our mathematician he placed here the symbol symbol is suppose x and that's why we are using algebra but uh, we are using the symbols or the letters so later he is used x and then he had calculated x how 7 is there plus 3 will transpose on the side that will become minus 3 and x is 4 so there is a use like equation is made and by using the equation unknown quantity symbol or the letter can be find and it comes in algebra and there is a use of algebra so then after in algebra there's so many uh, now if we talk about our chapters so so many you know terms or the factors will be used over here we will discuss one by one properly the first is constant and variables constant and variables so in algebra when the symbols or the letters is used suppose and his numerical value is always same suppose 4 is 4 like a very uh, good example I can give you a simple example that suppose uh, I'm having a two students and uh, the one student I said okay you can go and take uh, three pens from the market and the same question I have given to the other student so they both have gone their own places and brought the pens for me I use the word three so for them 3 means exactly the same means they understood the shopkeeper also understood everybody is understood 3 means 1, 2, 3 that 3 this can never be changed this 3 can never nobody can say 2 this 3 fixed never change so these numbers 4, 5, 6 our arithmetic numbers these are called the constant means the letters whose numerical value can never be changed is called constant and the variables 
whose numerical value varies, changes always. That is called the variable. Like suppose I am saying in the one question the x is 4. Correct? And another, another question suppose I can get x is 5. So see x is changed. In one question I solved there is 4. And in another chapter or somewhere I have got x is 5. I can say x is 7. So every time x is changes. So x is variable. Numerical value is changed. So it means I can say that if you are using the letters, uh, you know the alphabet, suppose alphabet having a 26 letters. So A, B, C, D, up to U, V, W, X, Y, Z. These all used in our algebra. And mathematician already told that from the beginning if you are using the letters, that is considered as constant. And from the last when you are using the letters like u, v, w, x, y, z, these are called variables. And don't ask like why. So our mathematicians said like this way. They said it. We can't change it. So these are always considered in our maths from here to the till top wherever you are studying the mathematics. They are always these are considered as variables. And the few letters from the beginning it is considered as constant. But for, in for, uh, for your part of you, if I am talking about, so don't be confused in the letters. I can say that the numbers, numerical values 4, 5, 7, these are called the constant. And the letters U, V, W, X, Y, Z is called the variables. Forget about this. Now, after discussing the constant and the variables, we are talking about the name, algebraic expression. Algebraic expressions. What is called the algebraic expressions? So, as you understood the constant and the variable, so when you combine together the combination of constant and the variable and connect by our mathematical operations, which are basic mathematical operations like plus, minus, multiply, divide, when we use this in between constant and the variable to combine, that is called the algebraic expressions correct so here if i am talking about algebraic expressions so example like 3x what about the 3x 3 is the constant and x is the variable and in between there is no sign that means operator multiply so this is algebraic expressions when you are doing like this way 2y plus 3z plus 7, A, whatever you are writing. See, every terms are connected with the operations in between 2 and y multiply, in between 3z and 2y plus sign, here multiply sign, here plus, here multiply. So, there is connection and by using this help of mathematical operators. So, this is called the, this expression is called the algebraic expressions. Correct? Now, here I am talking about the next term, term, what do you mean by term? So, <clears throat> when you talk about in the algebraic expression, suppose I have written it this way here. So, in the algebraic expression, when the all parts, various parts connected with only plus or the minus sign. Take care of it. Only plus or the minus sign. When the various parts of the expression is connected with only plus or the minus sign, then that is called the terms. Now, see here. I said only plus or the minus sign. Suppose I am writing here minus. Suppose. So, here is the multiply sign. So, in this part, I cannot consider the terms. But here is the plus sign. So, now here, this part and this part in between the plus sign. So there is two terms. One term, second term. Again the minus sign is used. So I can say this is the third term. So I would like to say when the various parts are connected with only plus or the minus sign. Then we can say the terms are there. And in here how many terms? 
So I will not say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms. No, it is wrong. I will say first term here, then plus all the minus signs, so second term and then third term. So there are three terms. Clear? Meaning of terms. And in that, the next is suppose I am asking about like terms. What do you mean by the like terms? So in this expression, the variable parts, I am talking about variable parts. Suppose I am saying here is also uh, 4z plus 6y. Like here. This is a big expression I am telling. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms are here. And I am talking about what is the like terms. So I am just trying to say the meaning of the like terms. When you are talking about the the parts which are variable, variable parts must be exactly same. You see the variable part. In this, the variable part is z. Correct? Variable part is z. And here, the variable part is z. So, variable part is exactly same. So, they are called the like terms. And here, there is a y variable part. Here is also the y variable part. So, these two are also called the like terms. But what about here? If I am talking about these two terms, so variable part is z, variable part is a, so they are called unlike terms. So the meaning of like terms and unlike terms, especially focus on the variable parts. Variable parts are same, like terms, variable parts are not same, unlike terms. Then after, I am talking about coefficient. Coefficient. Suppose of a more uh, elaborate expression I would like to write here 3x plus 4y minus 3xyz. Uh, like I said. So there is a first term, second term, third term, right? Because the plus and the minus sign is in between. So terms are here. You know, connected with the plus or the minus sign. So here I am trying to uh, tell you what do you mean by the coefficient. So Suppose any part I am picking up of the expression, like here, suppose here this part, this term I am considering, and in the one term, be focused, not all the terms, in any one term you have to pick first, and in one term, when you have a factors, factors means in between the multiply sign, like factors are here, 3x, y, z, here minus 3 you can say, so factors are minus 3, x, y, z. So if I will ask you what is the factor of minus 3, suppose my question is what is the factor of, sorry, 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 what is the coefficient of minus 3? So the remaining factors, these are the remaining factors whose product is called the coefficient of minus 3 or minus 3 is the coefficient of the remaining product of the factors. Means, I would like to say, ki if somebody will ask what is the coefficient of minus 3, then you will say that x, y, z is the coefficient of minus 3. If I will say what is the coefficient of x, y, so the remaining factors left, that is what minus 3, z. If I will hide this x, y, so what is that? Minus 3, z. So minus 3z is called the coefficient of xy. Here if I will ask you in this particular term, what is the coefficient of 3, then the remaining factor is what? x. So x is the coefficient of 3. What is the coefficient of x? So you will say the coefficient of x is 3. What is the coefficient of 3x? So nothing is there. So you will consider 1. So what is the coefficient of 3x? That is 1. If I will write here, minus 4 C. And I am asking you, what is the coefficient of 4c? So what is left? Nothing is left. 1 you will consider. Along with the sign, minus 1. What is the coefficient of 4c? Minus 1. What is the coefficient of minus 4? You will say c. What is the coefficient of plus 4? You will say minus c. So this is the meaning of coefficient. And in that, if you want to go for the coefficient in a form wise, 
so minus 3 the constant part of this term is called the numeric coefficient minus 3 is called the numeric coefficient and the letters which are left x y z is called the literal coefficient okay so this is the meaning of coefficient literal coefficient and numeric coefficient understood